Around a half of all stars that have names in the night sky have Arabic names. Because in the golden age of Islam, a thousand years ago, navigation was a big deal. And they navigated using astrolabes, which is sort of the Islamic counterpart to the sextant and the octant that were used what in the rest of Europe. Astrolabe. Astrolabes are gorgeous. They're, they're works of art. They're brass. They're etched. Uh, there's, a, there's a thing that hangs down. There are different discs that you can replace depending on where you are on Earth to be to know where you are more accurately. Wow. This is all navigation. Wow, so, yeah, look at they're that gorgeous. Thing. They're completely gorgeous. Wow. What the? And you'd carry if them you with you. you found that somewhere, you'd go, okay, aliens have been here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you didn't otherwise sure. know your history. Like, and, look and at that. The that size is insane. Of that, that's about the size of a heavyweight champion's buckle. So belt buckle. what is yeah. that thing doing? Yeah, it depends on where you are Holy on Earth. Shit. That's what I'm saying. A thousand years ago, wow. 700 years ago, 600 years ago, five, the Ottoman Empire is spreading their influence. They've got astrolabes. So this is Islam. You don't even learn about this in school because you only hear about the rest of Europe. Christian Europe. So this that matters. An incredible looking device. Yes. And these are dials that turn. It looks like a tribal tattoo. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a, like there's a rhyme or reason to it with all the claws and everything. Right. It completely looks like art. Again, if you're only listening, just just Google Astrolabe. Astrolabe.